Well, I've always been fascinated by the notion of a law which marks all the steps along the way from a person having an idea to that idea coming out into some sort of tangible form which might end up as uh, something which you can watch in the cinema, a book which you can read, a piece of music which you can dance to, or a medicine which you can take. And this law protects the invention, the disclosure, the manufacture, and also the commercialization of it. I don't think law struggles. Uh, it doesn't keep up. Uh, every so often we feel that it ought to, and it makes the occasional large jump and then stops for a few years and then makes another jump. But law is always going to be well behind technological advances. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's more important for law to be stable and predictable, so you know what the law is, than to have a law which changes as quickly as your, te your mobile telephone. And we'll all be sitting there with our 3D printers, I expect. And, but I think most of the things which we're doing will be pretty much the same. Essentially, there are three types of things that you can do with intellectual property rights. You can get them. And patent attorneys and trademark attorneys spend a lot of time filing applications on behalf of their, their clients for a new invention, a new trademark. And then you can sue other people once you've got them. You can say, hey, you are infringing my trademark. You are infringing my copyright. You are a villain, and I'm going to get your, your money and your car and your house and your wife and everything else. Thirdly, there are the people who don't get the rights, and they don't sue on the rights. They find ways of commercialising them. For example, uh, if you come up with a, a new concept for a shop, they say, hey, this is a really nice high street shop, but there could be one on every high street. Let's write a manual for it which will enable somebody to read the manual, set up your shop with your trademark, with your designs for your uh, trimmings, with your copyright in your menus. And that's very much more constructive than suing people. And it enables your intellectual property to be shared. So those three things, which you can do at the moment, I think you're still going to be doing in five years, 10 years, even 20 years time. I think the one misconception that I would like to dispel is that it's there to benefit the rich. It's there to be benefit everybody. And it's, people create intellectual property the whole time almost without realising it. And it's there to enable ideas to be shared, not to be hogged, not to be monopolised.